Hey guys, what's up? This is Manoj sir and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, we are going to see case number 4 of rules for finding complementary functions. Case number 1 was when the roots are real and distinct. Case number 2 was when the roots are repeated. Case number 3 was when the roots are imaginary. And the case number 4 which is most important, okay. When, pa when two pairs of imaginary roots be equal, okay. Case number 4 okay that is when two pairs of imaginary roots be equal okay let's suppose we have m1 equals to m2 and that is equals to alpha plus i beta okay similarly we have m3 and m4 both are equal and that is equals to alpha minus i beta okay if this is the case then complementary function that is cf is equals to e to the power alpha x okay c1 plus x times c2 into cos beta x plus c3 plus xc4 into sin beta x okay i am repeating it once again complementary function that is cf is equals to e to the power alpha x okay bracket c1 plus x times c2 bracket close cos beta x plus bracket open c3 plus xc4 c3 plus xc4 into sin beta x okay this is the complementary function and let us try to solve one problem okay which is of which belongs to this case okay that is solve d to the power 4 plus 2d square plus 1 into y equals to 0 okay you can see that the given equation is already in the symbolic form it means we need to find auxiliary equation directly okay we are finding this directly that is auxiliary equation in short ae it's ae that is auxiliary equation is given by okay i am replacing d with m okay that is equating this to 0 okay equating this coefficient of y that is d to the power 4 plus 2d square plus 1 okay by replacing d with m to 0 okay that is m to the power 4 plus 2m square plus 1 equals to 0 okay on splitting this term we'll get m to the power 4 plus m square plus m square plus 1 equals to 0 taking m square common you will get m square plus 1 taking 1 common this is m square plus 1 you will get m square plus 1 m square plus 1 equals to 0 okay solving 1 m square plus 1 that is m square plus 1 equals to 0 m square equals to minus 1 m equals to plus minus of root over of minus 1 this is i so we'll get m equals to plus minus i okay fine this is from here you will get plus minus i from here you will get plus minus of i okay so if you see if you compare okay this with this you will get alpha equals to 0 and beta equals to 1 okay if you starting compare this equation this roots of m with this m2 m1 m2 m3 and m4 you will find that alpha equals to 0 and beta equals to 1 so complementary function okay formula is this so my complementary function will become as of this question that is since alpha equals to 0 so here it is e to the power 0 into x e to the power 0 into x okay c1 plus x times c2 into cos of okay beta that is 1 okay so this is x c1 plus x times c2 cos of x plus c3 plus x c4 times sin x fine since we know that e to power 0 is 0 e to power 0 is 1 so here we will get c1 plus x c2 times c cos x plus c3 plus x c4 times sin x and this is my complementary function okay since in the problem if 0 is given in the right hand side so the complete solution of this y will be equals to what complementary function the complete solution of this y is will be complementary function which is c1 plus x times c2 into cos x plus c3 plus x c4 times sin x okay i hope that you have learned something from this video if this is the case then please hit the like button and do share this video with your friends okay thank you for watching this video and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much.